Hey guys, we're going to be checking out my current setup in this video. I say current because, well, I like to change it pretty often. Tomorrow this could look completely different, but yeah, that's the beauty of Android. I'll try and include as much as I can in the description, so let's check it out. So firstly, let me say I am on a custom ROM and a custom kernel, although a lot of the tweaks you'll see in this video are actually available via the exposed installer or other custom ROMs, so you don't have to jump over to this specific ROM if you don't feel like it. But I am on the latest version of the Mardi custom ROM, and I'm also using the latest Franco kernel. Now, my Mardi is a great ROM if you love customization. It has an absolute ton of options and the latest Franco kernel I've been really impressed with both the performance and the battery life so it's a great combination for me. I'm sure by now you've probably noticed I'm using a theme. It's a new CM11 theme that mimics Android L and I've got to say it's awesome. Nearly everything is themed here including quick settings, notifications, settings, menu, status bar icons and nav bar icons and a lot more. Now to use a theme like this you will need Cyanogen Mod's new theme manager. As far as I know, there isn't an exposed module for this theme manager just yet, so you'll need a custom ROM that has it built in. But with this and the themes available on the Play Store, you can theme nearly every aspect of your device and it can look wildly different day to day just by clicking a button. It can change things including wallpapers, fonts, icons, boot animation and loads more including the status bar icons and nav bar icons. If we check out the boot animation on this one, you can see it's the Android L boot animation that changes into Android and yeah, I just think it looks really awesome. You may have also noticed that I have a different scrolling animation or a list view animation as it's officially called. Again for me this is built into the ROM but is available via an exposed module as well. If we dive into display, go into the advanced options, then go ahead and tap into the list view and this is where you can change everything. So for the animation I've got that set to scale, the interpolator I've got it set to anticipate an overshoot and the duration is set to 400 milliseconds. And for me I've been messing around with this but this is pretty much perfect. It's not too slow, it's not too quick. It doesn't slow me down or anything like that, so I really enjoy it. If we head over to notifications, I have heads up activated. This is actually built into any 4.4 ROM, even stock, it just needs to be turned on. You can do that using apps or exposed modules. And I also have lock screen notifications, and this is something I absolutely love. You can get apps that do this, I don't think you can get the exposed module to do this, but you can see there's a heads up notification right there, and if we go ahead and lock the screen, you'll also see the lock screen notification as well that you can kind of drag out, read, and then you can dismiss it or open it if you want to. Now, one of the biggest parts to customization in Android is the launcher. I'm using Nova Launcher, which gives me a ton more options to mess with. I have a few gestures set up for quick access to menus and apps. That feature will require Nova Prime. My desktop grid is set to six by four. My width margin is set to none. My height margin is also set to none. And I've got my persistent search bar actually set to the ice cream sandwich style I just think it suits my home screen better than the KitKat style or Android L style and home screens is obviously your choice pretty much everything else I haven't really changed too much if we jump into the draw settings I tried to mimic the Google now launcher as much as I could here because I like the look of that one so I changed the draw app grid to 4x4 you can see that right here it looks pretty similar not too much different you've got a few tabs at the top for your widgets and apps but other than that there isn't really much difference between the two in terms of the dock settings, I have the width margin set to small and the height set to large. I don't think there's much too different there either. And that's pretty much it. I don't have show divider on or anything like that. In terms of the folders, I have the grid preview set to grid. I just think that looks kind of nice on my home screen. And also the background is set to white just to give it that more kind of polished feel. You can see it right there. So you can see that most of my customization this time was actually done by that CM11 Android L theme. I do have a few widgets here. The widget you can see right now is actually the clock widget made by Cyan gen mod but the Cronus widget is also very similar so that's the one I'm going to link in the description for you guys. The widget you can see on this screen giving me my football news is actually just a simple RSS widget again I will link it in the description but in terms of the actual feed that's from Football Italia but you can pretty much have any RSS feed you want there and I also just have the stock Google Calendar widget on the last page and that's pretty much it guys. Now in terms of the applications I have on my device there's too many to go through in this video but if you want me to make another video on the apps that I have on my device let let me know in the comments I'll do that I actually don't have them all showing in my app drawer just because there's too many I think there's 90 plus and I only want the important ones really showing in the app drawer so yeah let me know what you guys think peace out